So today we're at a very special place on the island, a church called Ustalas Church, which is the biggest and oldest round church on Bonholm, built in 1150 AD. The church has got a very interesting history and is believed by some to have been built by the Knights Templar. So I'm actually walking away from the church just to see if I can get a nice place down here. Got to be aware of the wind as well though because it's coming from the east today so uh, I don't want to be in the wind the whole day. So I've walked all the way around the church and I think this is the best angle here. Not a big fan of that building on the left there. Don't know if that'll work. Maybe I could just leave it out. All right, and I've done a sneak preview for you so you can see the painting before I finish. So you don't have to skip to the end to find out. So I've got myself set up now so I can start sketching in. Just thinning down this dark mix I made. I think I'm gonna put the church over to the side here. A bit around the bit, starting about there, top of it here. Just being extra aware of angles and using my paintbrush just to take that angle there from the roof and bring it down onto the painting so I get a similar angle as I'm drawing. Just using my paintbrush to take measurements, just taking the width of the roof and comparing it to the height. And obviously, I can see now that the width is much greater than the height so i can then apply that to the drawing that i'm making i see that the width here is around about right there just spending a lot more time doing this drawing than i normally would because from experience i've just learned that it's much better to spend longer on the drawing and get it right than suddenly realize that you've made a mistake somewhere and then having to correct it afterwards and as i'm drawing I'm just making sure that my anchor points are correct and what I mean by anchor points is just that the parts of the drawing that I know are correct like the roof or more or less correct I can then use them as measurements for the rest of the building and then use each individual element to measure out from all right so this is the composition that I'm going for and I'm pretty happy with it so far as I said, I got rid of this building and I'm going to put a tree here on this side because I think it's going to frame it pretty nicely. And I also like the fact that you're looking through the trees into the church. I think that that will um, kind of add a nice bit of perspective. All right, so first I'm going to look at the color for the roof. To be honest, I was a little bit stuck where to start. I wasn't too sure, so I just thought just pick somewhere to start so i'm going to pick the roof and go for that and so what i did was i took a dark mix mixed in some sap green to make a really dark mix here and then graded it up using some naples yellow and some titanium white and i've got to here so far all right let's give that a go and see how it looks i think it might be all right actually i think it'll be easier to tell once i paint the sky in and the white of the building All right, I've realized I'm actually going to have to get a mix done for the sky so I can put that in and see what the relative darkness is with the uh, the roof there. So what I did was I just took some titanium white and mixed in some of this darker mix that I made here earlier. So I'll, I'll get that on the panel and see what happens. I've just noticed there's a bit of light poking out behind the buildings there and I think that's going to look really nice as a focal point so I'm going to get that in as quickly as I can yeah sometimes you just got to be really quick take the opportunities as they come I'm just looking at the relationship between the sky and the roof and I think it's slightly off actually the roof That's actually getting there now, so I think I'll just look at these roofs underneath the slanted ones, and they're slightly darker in tone, so in places anyway, so I'll, I'll try and work on that now. Still using this big number six brush because I actually don't like using small brushes. I find they, I end up just focusing on the details and 
forgetting the big picture <laughs> this might all change once the uh, white of the building goes on but it doesn't matter I reckon I can always adjust as I go yeah the uh, wind is blowing in from the east today uh, straight across from the churchyard so it's um, pretty cold but I'm just keeping going and getting as much paint on the panel as fast as I can. All right, so I've gone for this kind of mix here with some titanium white, some Naples yellow, and a little bit of this mix here that I made with sap green and these other colors. Also trying to make sure that I've got some clean sharp lines in this building because I'm planning to do a kind of loose misty landscape around the church so it's, it will be good if it's pretty um, sharp. It's got these trees in now here on the sides and now working on the bush here in the foreground because now I've got the building in the church building it means I can uh, be a bit more loose with my brushwork and start suggesting things a little more rather than being very specific the whole time introducing a little bit of cadmium yellow medium now just to try and boost the colour in the trees and shrubbery that I'm seeing also just try to keep it as loose as I possibly can because I I kind of don't want it to look too twee and postcard like I'm trying to keep it quite abstract as well all right, time to get in a bit of this grass in the foreground here. The cold is starting to bite in now. Got that grass scrubbed in now. Probably needs to lighten it up a bit looking at it compared to that grass there, but it's all right for now. And now just looking at that pavement area, they're just poking above the bush up there. I can't feel my hand at the moment. Just want to get this scrubbed in really. It's been a while since I felt the cold like this actually. It's really just the wind that makes the difference. That's too dark but sod it. I can do the rest later. And the great thing is I can always add details later. It's just getting those major areas blocked in so i managed to get the whole panel covered now and i've got pretty cold so i'm going to take this one back to the studio all right so we're back in the warm now and we can have a look at this painting so here's the state of the painting at the moment and there are parts of it that i like um i think the church works pretty well i think the general composition is is pretty strong um i don't like this tree at all i think it looks like a spider or something and i'm not sure maybe i'll fade this one out a little bit more i'm also not totally happy with the green color in this foreground here I feel like it clashes quite a bit with the purple wash that I got in the background of the painting so I'm going to have to have a look at that. And as usual I'm going to be using a reference photo that I took from the video when I was out at the church. So first of all I am lightening up the sky because I felt like it wasn't really the correct value compared to the rest of the painting and I really wanted to get that feeling of light penetrating through the misty clouds. And now I'm just removing the branches of the tree that I had painted in across the top of the church because I just felt like they were dominating way too much and distracting from the central point. Adding a bit of titanium white in the centre around the church where the light was brightest. 
and just making small adjustments here and there now that I've lightened the sky the other values then need to be changed in relation to that as well adding a few branches to the tree and I also noticed that the roof was too dark now that I'd lightened the sky so I needed to use the reference photo to see how much I needed to lighten up the roof adding some branches to the trees there but being careful to make them quite abstract so that they don't detract from the main focus of the church just rolling my brush around really to get that abstract effect so that the eye passes by them into the center of the painting rather than being blocked by them as they were before and again just making micro adjustments here and there in value to make sure that the painting is balanced and just darkening that road down in the foreground there as I felt it was too light in value and drawing too much attention to itself even though in reality it was quite bright and also doing the same with the grass in the foreground there bringing in some ultramarine blue and also some Naples yellow just to tone down the green so that it wasn't so bright So here's the finished painting and I decided to darken down the foreground because I found that the green was clashing really badly with the purple and that light green I just to be honest I just didn't like the color so I so I just darkened it down um, also to add focus to the center of the painting. I also lightened up the sky and focused on creating a lighter area around here to draw the eye into the church also using directional brush strokes to do that i also reduced the tree down to this area and also this area over here because i was finding that they were looking a bit like uh, spiders really uh, and they just looked wrong and unnatural so i looked at some trees that were over here in the reference photo and used them to create a more natural look for the tree and i think it just help the overall composition of the painting to have these trees less dominant so that's about it for today let me know what you think in the comments below thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one